Welcome, welcome, welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. Minister Angela here. Um, I got a quick word. We are going to be talking about the blessings of obedience and the curses of disobedience. Amen. Um, I want to remind you that God has made a promise to you. If you turn your Bibles with me to Deuteronomy 11. And the Bible says, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are and bless you as he has promised you. So God made a promise to you that, you know, some of you say, Lord, I want a hundred fold, bless me with a hundred fold. But that is a promise where God said, no, I'm not going to just bless you with a hundred fold. I'm going to bless you with a thousand fold. Amen. Go big or go home. Right. So, um. We, I'm going to read to you the blessings of obedience. When you are walking in obedience, when you have repented to God, you have turned away from your sins, you have fully turned it over to God, and you said, God, I'm walking with you wholeheartedly, right? And I am holding on to your unchanging hand. No matter what happens, no matter what comes my way, I'm letting things go. You know, there came a time in my life where I had to make a decision. And in that moment, when I had to make that decision, I was at rock bottom, right? I was in a deep depression. I went through a divorce, lost my mother in the same year. And I was overwhelmed with oppression and depression. And um, the enemy began to speak to me in a negative way. And in that moment, um, the Holy Spirit came down and said, you're my beloved. And it changed everything for me. I got filled with the baptized of the Holy Spirit. I got baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I began to speak in tongues. It happened in my room. I wasn't even going to church. I have grew up in church my whole life. But in that moment, I was, I was in the world and not in church. I had Jack in one hand and I had marijuana in the other hand. And this was my life every day, trying to bury the pain that I was in. Um, and I'll tell you right now, when you go to those things, they'll take your pain away temporarily. But God will take your pain away permanently. Amen. And so when you give it to God, he will take it away. Months later after that, January 8th, 2023, I got baptized um, with water. And I have been on this run, running for Christ, right? Sold out for Christ. And I will never turn back. I will never go back to how it used to be. You know, I'll never go back. God has changed me, saved my life from, from so much. Um, I've been through abuse. I've been through divorce. I've been through molestation. I've been through, um, you know, um, you know, clubbing, my clubbing days. God, God saved me. Um, you know, so many times he spared my life. And so I owe my life. I owe my heart, I owe my body to God and I honor him. And I come in the name of the Lord as a messenger to let you know that you have a choice. You have a choice, but there's a hell and there's a heaven and you have the choice to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart take it away. I'm tired of living this way. Um, you know, cleanse my heart, create a, create in me a clean heart, renew the right spirit within me. Amen. So if you have your Bible, turn with me to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to be reading the blessings of obedience, and then we'll read the curses of disobedience. <clears throat> and it says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall... Um, thy basket and thy storehouse. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in the storehouses, and in all that the houses set it thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. 
and they the, and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy cattle and then the fruit of thy ground and the land which the Lord swear unto thy father to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land and in his seasons and bless to all the work of thy hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. So I don't know about you, but I want all these blessings God has for me. God will make me the head and not the toe. He... <laughs> He will make uh, my enemies my footstool. He'll prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Amen. And I will have overflow and abundance, right? And back to Deuteronomy 111, he promised me a thousand fold. I'm going to read to you the curses of disobedience. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee, cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field, cursed shall thou be in thy basket, and thy storehouse, cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flax of thy sheep, cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out, the Lord shall send upon the cursing vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hand unto do, until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me the lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whether thou goest to possess it the lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an infl inflammation and with an extreme burning with a sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until until thou perish and they and the heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until, until thee be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. So this is to your enemies, right? Who are not withstanding with God. But this is also to you. If you are on the other side, whether you're on the side of obedience or you're on the side of disobedience, you get to choose which side that you want to be on. God does not force us to do anything, but we have a choice. But we have a choice to go to heaven. We have a choice to go to hell. We have a choice to be on the disobedient side. And we have a choice to be on the obedient side. But he gives us that, that chance to repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry of my ways. I, I, you know, I come before your altar. I come into the courts of heaven uh, re in repentance in Yeshua Jesus' name, right? Asking that you would forgive me and that you would cleanse me and make me new. I want to be like you, Jesus. I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of being that way. And I want to be more like you, you know, remove the bitterness, remove the anger, remove the strife from me. I do not like this feeling, right? Bitterness causes bone issues. Um, bitterness causes bone issues. Um, certain sicknesses cause um, certain, when you're holding a grudge, it causes cancer, right? All these different things that we hold on to causes our body to be sick, right? I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want the devil to allow if I get to live past my appointed time or not right? We have that choice. And, you know, if you're somebody who wants to give your life to Christ, you know, you say this simple prayer, Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you for another day. I ask that you come into my heart and take away my sins, cleanse me and wash me through. Lord, Father, I believe that your son Jesus died on the cross for me, right? And that you are the son of God and you died for me, right? I never want to be the same. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. When you are a living creature, when you're a new living creature in God, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Your whole life will be new from what it is now. If you would like to sow a seed, you can sow a seed on Cash App at Jesus Chosen Vassals. Um, and if you would like to email me for prayer requests, you would like me to pray for you, you can email me at Jesus Chosen Vassals um, at gmail.com. God bless you. I love you. The, Lord, the joy of the Lord is your strength.